So, I've randomly received a parcel. Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So as I just stated, I have randomly received a parcel. Now, I have been waiting on a few parcels from Amazon and eBay regarding the realm. But when I picked this up, the first thing I looked at was, it says, cover my address there, special delivery, guaranteed by 1 p.m. So it's a next day delivery, and I thought, I've ordered nothing on next day delivery. So a further inspection of the box, down in this corner, has the return address. Now that return address I know very, very well to be the Spider Shop's return address. So somebody has ordered me something. Now it is my birthday next week, so I'm presuming that's why, but I have no idea who it is. I haven't asked around yet. You know when you've just received something, you don't know what it is, you start messaging everyone, was this you, was this you? Well, I, I thought no, we'll just make it a natural reaction on camera. So. There is no stickers about live inverts on here, but it does say do not leave in direct sunlight, which was another hint as well. But before I open that box, we recently did a really long update video and thank you to everyone that watched that all the way through. That really, really surprised me. But there was an update I forgot to do. And that was a little while ago, Amy from Pet Rock and Roll sent me some little merch items. And I'm really sorry that I didn't bring that up in a video, Amy. I genuinely just forgot about it well not forgot about it forgot to bring it up on camera so I have these here I have this one this one and this one really really super cool thanks so much Amy for those so these are going to be going somewhere on one of my shelves I'm going to make a specific area where I can put little merchandise items so if anyone else wants to send me one send me a private message and I'll put it up in the realm. Now without further ado let's get into this box and see what it's all about. So I've ripped my address label off so you nosy parkers can't see it and it actually says my name underneath I'm guessing that's so you knew which box was which to post but uh, yeah I've lost my knife after rearranging the realm so we're going to try and open this with tongs I don't know if this is actually going to work. We'll just use our hand. Okay, after giving up using my hands, I can see that there's a little bit written here. Now, I'm not sure if that's of any importance. So instead of tearing it open, I'm actually going to go get a knife and uh, see what that little bit of text says there. Uh, I've, I've already seen what that says now. Let me try and, I can rip this open now, I've got it. So here we go. To Bugman Sam, we hope this surprise makes you smile today. Happy birthday from Kelly and Beth. That's absolutely amazing. What a wonderful, wonderful surprise. I don't even, don't even matter what is in here. I'm just, I'm so grateful. So, I'll put links, they're both YouTubers, Kelly from Criticism Creations, and Beth is Beth's Pets with Arachnabeth. I'll put links to their channels in my description below. Yep, Spider Shop picture, information. That's the one, I'll just double check there. Oh no, there's another one in there. I'll read them in a second. Let's just make sure there's nothing more. I think that's, looks like one each. Wicked. Ooh, what's it gonna be? So I've tidied up the packing peanuts. They're still in the same position as before, so I haven't looked at them yet. So let's go for the first one. Oh, no way. Oh, it's a decent size as well. It's the Rufus. I've always wanted the pea species Rufus. They've known that I've wanted this for ages. Kelly got one and I've, I've always wanted one. And you can see it just in that corner there. No way. That's absolutely amazing. Just on its own, that's amazing enough. Thank you so much. Next one. Ah, oh, this one is, I think, was a freebie from Spider Shop. So it's that the L niggerin niggerin on the screen. 
I know what it is, but I just can't pronounce it. Happy birthday from TSS. Now, I'm not sure if this was, was a freebie from Lee or if this was them putting it in and he's just wrote happy birthday on that vial. I will message them both and find out. That's so cool. So after a bit of confirmation, the El Niggerimum, if I've said that right, Lampropalma, is from Lee from the Spider Shop. So I don't think Lee particularly watches my channel, but just in case, thank you so much, Lee, for adding in on that to make my birthday special. Ah, oh, you guys. I, I don't, I'm a little bit speechless. Really, I, oh, I was so happy. I, it's really, really made me smile today. I, I even feel a bit emotional, but we're not going to do that on the camera. Let's just get into the rehousings. Now, I've made a bit of a special home for that Rufus, being a present from you guys, and I'll, I'll show you that home now. We'll get the Rufus housed, and then we'll move on to the El Niggerima. But I just, I just want you to know I, I really mean it. Thank you. Really, really thank you so much. Come on, guys. Let's get this done. So this is the arboreal setup I'm using for the pea species Rufus. So it's one of my tarantula ream enclosures, which are one of my favourite types of enclosure, especially on the arboreal front. And I've used one of my special bits of wood that I save only for special spiders. And that's because look at the twists and turns. So this Rufus will have various hiding spaces. He can web it up nice and it's got some substrate if he wants to build any form of dirt curtain or anything around full water dish. Now I'm not going to mess around with either of these, uh, especially the Rufus, they're both old world tarantulas. I'm guessing that um, the Lamp Repelma is going to be a really little sling, I'd guess. Um, but the Rufus is a five to seven centimeter and you can see already here that he's not a dinky sling. So I'm going to do this as safely as I can because I don't want him escaping. Now him at this size isn't going to cause me much damage, but they are very quick and I would literally cry like a girl if I lost this tarantula. So safety measures first, get this one housed, let's do this. Okay, catch cup at the ready and oh, lid at the ready. Now we'll try and get a good look at this one after it's actually housed guys because as I said I don't want to lose it so it's not be much entertainment on the camera but I will do my best for you so you can actually just see his legs poking out here I don't really want him running up and over so There he goes. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'll try and get a clearer view for you in a moment, but wow. It's a good size. These things are, are not cheap at this size. I know to you guys at home that still looks really small, and it is still really small, but it's not dinky sling size. And I'd guess, I'd say this would have cost them probably around the 40 to 50 pound mark. You guys are so silly, but thank you so much. Look at the beautiful patterning on the abdomen there. A slightly darker carapace. Oh, let's try and get a better shot. There. So instead of the lid, I've actually got the light on the top now so you can see it a little bit better. Sorry for any background noise. I've got my daughter around today. Look at it. Look at it. There's a top angle view as well. Okay, okay, last look, I promise. I, ju I just can't help it. I'm so chuffed to bits with this spider. I really, really am. And it's it's quite chill as well for an old world. I mean, if you look, just ever so slightly pushing up the substrate, that would have been rubbing the leg. Nothing. I've turned this a couple of times to change angle. Chill. Now that's not to say these will remain that way. <laughs> I highly doubt once it's settled in, it's going to uh, still be so placid. But yes, thank you so, so much, Kelly and Beth. Right, 
let's get the gift from Lee Rehouse now. Okay, so I actually need to kind of double check how small this sling is before I decide on a house. I'm guessing it's going to be a Diddy Diddy, but I don't want to find out that. Oh, yeah, okay, cute. You won't be able to see it properly, guys. But yeah, it's down in there. I'd say it's about two, three centimeters, maybe. Adorable. Right, let's find a house for this one then. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just set up a little arboreal enclosure in one of those old sweet jars there. It's got ventilation holes in it. A little bit of cork bark and enough substrate. Although it doesn't look a lot for the size of sling it is, it can also do a little bit of burrowing at its current age. They are arboreal, but you'll find a lot of arboreal slings also like to burrow. Okay, so it's actually just here, I'll remove the tissue and we'll have a better look. So it's not the best angle, but you can make out the spider just about. Now these turn into a really awesome dark black arboreal Asian species and they're so beautiful to look at. Can have some right attitude on them when they're a bit bigger, as far as I'm aware anyway. So. I don't think we can get a top view. Just about make out the abdomen there. But slings this size then, they're never much to look at yet. So we'll see how this one develops and grows. And we'll have some better shots of it later on. Massive thanks to you, Lee. Massive thanks to Kelly and Beth too. This was truly an awesome surprise. Now I've said it time and time again through this video, but one last time, thank you Kelly, thank you Beth, and thank you Lee. It's, it's made my day wonderful. And you know what, I totally had no idea they were really sneaky about it. Um, I know Kelly was asking me a lot about what spiders I'm, I'm looking at at the moment because I was actually gonna make a, a spider shop order uh, before my birthday to arrive on my birthday, which is great. But to just have that little Kickstarter to, to my birthday is wonderful. Now to anyone confused, this video should be one coming out on a Sunday, I think. Uh, my actual birthday is on the Wednesday coming up and I'm guessing they wanted to get that present to me in case I decided to buy it because my payday was the day after this arrived so there was no way that I could have pre-selected anything beforehand. So you guys, thank you again and again and again. So if you want to see what else dwells within the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. That's going to be it from me. I'm going to be smiling for the rest of the day now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.